Pigeon Forge, Tennessee is a popular destination for Kentuckians. Priceline recently named it one of the top 10 most affordable vacation spots in the country. And they're celebrating 60 years of making memories. Pigeon Forge 60 years ago wasn't that tourist attraction. We were mainly that thoroughfare on the way to Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And our uh, some of our folks that have lived here for generations thought, let's welcome these visitors and let's let them stop at Pigeon Forge. So that's how it started. And for six generations now, families have been visiting Pigeon Forge and creating those memories that last a lifetime. It's a popular tourist destination for Kentuckians and what can they enjoy this summer after this difficult year that we've just been through? You know, we have so many things each year that are new and, and this year is no different. Uh, opening this week, we have this great new little attraction called the Toy Box Mini Golf and miniature golf is a big deal when you come to Pigeon Forge and it has 20 foot Sock'em, rock, rock'em, sock'em robots. I'm going to get that right. If you remember those from growing up. So yes. a really neat little experience and those memories that we have from growing up as well. And then we have new at the island is the sky fly, which is a sensory uh, experience. You're going to fly across all the national parks across the United States and you're going to smell and feel and different uh, different opportunities there. And then if you're into thrill rides at the Mountain Mile, we've got the Mountain Monster, which takes you 200 feet in the air and swings you down uh, face forward. So if you're into those uh, those adrenaline uh, rush rides, then that, that's the ride for you. And of course, you can't forget Dollywood. What can we enjoy at Dollywood this summer? Well, right now they are in their flower and food festival. And that goes through June 6th and then June 25th, they will begin their summer nights, which they stay open late and then they end every evening with a magnificent fireworks display. So it's really a neat experience to be at Dollywood during the dark and just it's just a, it's a whole different feel. I enjoy going there every hour of every day, but that nighttime experience is just a little bit different. What do you think makes Pigeon Forge so special? It really has so much to offer for everyone. It, it really does. You know, we like to say from three to 103, there is something for everyone. And there truly is. Whether you want to do as much as you can, or you can just show up, find you a great lodging experience, lay out by the pool, go to the national park, do as little as you want. But it's, you know, it's up to you. And that's, you know, I think for generations, families have been coming here. And it's, we like to say when you come here, your family as well. And, and I hope that our visitors have that feeling when they arrive. Now that people can travel more, what advice would you have for say a family that wants to just do, you know, a couple days getaway? How can people get the most out of their experiences? Well, I would start out by going to our website at mypigeonforge.com because we do have over 80 attractions. So a lot to choose from. But whether you, like I said, if you're looking for that low key, then there's the, you know, just relax by the pool. You can take a picnic lunch to the national park. You know, there's nothing better than taking your lawn chair and sitting in the middle of the river and watching your kids play and smell those hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill or trying to visit every attraction in Pigeon Forge. And that would take more than a week probably to do that. <laughs> and then you've also got great uh, dining experiences here in Pigeon Forge. And of course you can't forget our shows and shopping. And then, you know, to top that off, just that enjoyment that you have of spending time with your family. You can plan your trip to Tennessee by visiting mypigeonforge.com.